Good afternoon, first grade. So today we are going to continue to work with measurement here in the classroom. And I think we have an interesting activity to work through as a class to practice measurement here in the classroom. So today's activity, we are going to look at how long is your name? This is the worksheet that we will be working on today. Before we start talking about the worksheet that we're going to be working on, let's recall that we don't always have to measure with a ruler. Remember, we can measure with things such as paper clips, pennies, starbursts, or even colored pencils. Okay? So today, for our worksheet, that is exactly the objects that we will be measuring with. So, everybody take a marker or a pencil and write your name in the boxes. So, everybody see how there are boxes here? You're going to start over here on this end, and you're going to write one letter in each of the boxes, okay? So, here is what it will look like after you have written your name on your paper. Now, I wrote my name, but you'll be writing your name, okay? So this is exactly how yours should look after you write your name, okay? So I'll give everybody the opportunity to work on writing your name. And then our first step is we are going to estimate, okay? Does anybody know what estimating means? Estimating is taking a guess on how many you think. So like for the first one, it says letters. You're gonna take a guess on how many letters do you think are in your name? Without counting them, how many letters do you think are in your name? Looking at my name, I'm gonna guess five. Next, we are going to use Starbursts I'm looking at your name, how many starbursts do you think it would take to measure from the start of your name to the end of your name? So in the boxes I have underlined, how many starbursts do you think it would take to measure and fill that line? Looking at mine, I'm going to say probably six. Okay, next we're going to use colored pencils. Oh, goodness. These are some long colored pencils, so I'm only going to say one. We're going to take a guess for pennies and then for paper clips, okay? And then, after everybody has estimated or taken a guess on how many of each object you think are going to, it's going to take for you to measure your name, we're going to take and collect our data by taking the objects and actually measuring, okay? So... For example, with Miss Ansley's name, we're going to start with letters. So how many letters? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm going to put a six here in that box. Okay, now we're going to measure with starbursts. So we'll see how many starbursts it takes Miss Ansley to fill out her name. All right, my boxes are filled. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna write the number seven here in that box. Okay, and you're gonna do the same thing for crayons, pennies, and paper clips. Okay, and then when everybody has finished, we will hang our names up around the room and we will be able to see how many objects of each item it takes for everybody to measure their name. 